Hello everybody, Matt here from The Planet and welcome to episode 2 of the Manchester Training Block. to do well one of two things we're going to try and do a 10k PR attempt finally we're having a we're having a go at getting this done um, and if I've got the energy left I hope I have I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and extend the run to 29 kilometers um, or about that which is uh, which will be my long run for the week um, saves me having to come back in a couple of days and, and, uh, and do that again um, I'd rather get it out, out of the way and done if I can do but uh, 10 kpr might take it too much out of my legs but let's see we'll see how it goes the pr in the 10k is 42 minutes 35 seconds which is four minutes and 15 minutes per kilometer average um which is a sub three hour marathon time if you'd extend that to a full marathon um so that's what i've got to beat i've got to beat that time today i don't have to beat it but i'm going to try and beat it i want to beat it um, and the idea is to get as close as to 40 minutes we can do. To be fair, I don't think I'm going to break 40 minutes, but who knows? We'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. One thing I'll be doing differently today will be the uh, the warm up. Um, the last time when I ran the 42:35, I think I didn't do enough high intensity and stuff at the time. So we're looking at like say half a kilometre, a kilometre at um, the full pace really at four minutes per kilometre, um, just to kind of like. I don't know, can we say stretch the veins, open up the heart a bit, um, open up the lungs. Because um, last time I did it, I found that I was all right the first couple of kilometers or so, then I started slowing down. And in the middle, I was, I was, you know, probably slow, slowing off to four minutes, 24 minutes, 30 per kilometer. But then at the end, I came back. So I don't want to be slower in the middle. I want to be going full tilt all the way through if I can. Uh, but that's just how it works out sometimes, isn't it? It's, it's rock hard to get these things absolutely perfect. But what I'll be doing today is I'll be using the motor gels. So, I'll have, so we'll have one at the start, probably, I don't know, maybe one at 5k or something like that. We'll see how it goes. If you've seen my, uh, my Great North Run video just over three months ago, so I took a cyst surge gel at the end, at something that I think is fantastic, but they'll stop making them. We can't get any more. You replace it with these kind of ones that you use in football, which is the, uh, the, uh, the Focus 90. The reason why I've got it, it's the only other product on the market that's got basically the same ingredients inside it. The cyst surge gel was, I think it was fantastic, really opened it up and uh, basically got you running faster for, you know, like 5k or something like that. I was toying with trying it today, but I won't do because. Um, I think there's a risk that I'll, uh, I'll get a bad stomach off it because I've never tried it before. So unfortunately, I won't be using that. But I might use that a lot on when I do the long run part uh, of today's run afterwards after I've done the 10k. Right, so let's get let's get down there. Let's get a warm up done, and we'll get into the uh, 10k PR attempt. Here we go. Okay, so uh, let's just get the watch there. I will take the GoPro with us. That's what we do, isn't it? I probably dread doing a 10k worse than I do a marathon, really. Um, running at 450, running at 445 or 430 minutes per kilometre pace isn't that bad at all. Um, I look forward to it. We just... Okay, so here we go. 10k PR. Woo! So, so we're, we have got a gentle assist at the start for about half a kilometre. I'll take that. Let's crack on. <laughs> okay, so it's five km. Uh, 410 by pace. So that's not going to break me 5 kpr. I'm going to set the gel now. Second gel. Gel 100.
not quite four, ten, not quite four minutes to climb up here, but I'm quite happy with that. Still on for a, a 10 kip here, and hopefully, I felt the wind coming this way, so hopefully, I don't feel it on the way going by. But let's see. Woo, let's go. So that's 7k, uh, average pace, 412. Uh, uh, it's really quite difficult the whole pace. Uh, I'm sitting by 410, but uh, only 3k left to go now. Uh, just got to dig deep uh, and go for it. And what did we get? A nice deal, 410. Uh, let's go, see speed it again. Into the last one here now, 9.2 kilometers. <sighs> Struggling, as you can probably see. I think I'm ahead. I think I'm ahead of previous PR 42.35. 9.4k. Right hamstring's burning. I wonder what that means actually. Right hamstring's burning, but the left one's fine. One weaker than the other. Why am I thinking about that now? That's all we did. Everything I've got now. Let's go. Five meters. Is it? Oh, 50 meters. So there it is, 10 kilometers pace, 412 average, uh, and 4207. So that's a new PR, but let's, uh, let's see what it looks like when it uploads. I left it run on a little bit more, so it would have been nice to break into the uh, 41s, but uh, I'll take that like, what's that, that's about a 30 second PR. Uh, so there it is, 10k PR, I got the PR, didn't get sub 40, nowhere near sub 40. I was probably thinking before I started it, and even in the early part, I might be able to break 41 minutes, but I don't even think we were up 42 minutes, but what's that? that's about 13 kilometers I've done now. So I need to do another 16 to complete today's long run. Uh, so yeah, we'll do another lap at the key side, which is about 14, 15 kilometers, um, and get us up to that distance for 29k today i changed my shoes ran in the vapor fly did i make a mistake should i run in the alpha fly i don't know maybe i did my little test yesterday and i think the alpha fly wasn't as fast as this but maybe it was uh, like somebody said like gary said uh, maybe it's easy to hold pace at the end in the uh, the alpha fly but i don't know maybe we'll come back in a month's time and have another go maybe i don't should also say I took a gel right at the start and I took a gel at uh, 5k, they're the Morton gels. I think that was about right. Um, I obviously had some electrolytes last night, uh, small bowl of rice this morning, had some pasta last night. I haven't had pasta for about 11 weeks. That was nice, nice change. Um, and yeah, let's get back to it. Speak to you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. The other one I use is the, uh, the Precision Gel, um, and I use that at, at uh, like 6k before the end. And that was really good. Um, very similar to the uh, to the Morton Gel, the uh, the Caffeine One, the Caff 100. Um, I could, if, you, if it was in a Caff 100 pack, I probably wouldn't tell me no difference. Uh, very good, very thick, um, just like the Morton One, um, which I really like. So uh, I might get a few more of these to test now. So uh, that's. Yeah, that one's got 100 grams of caffeine. 